years old. He grew up in a big city, Chicago. You may have heard of that. But the big city, he, and his favorite time of year was Christmas. He loved Christmas because he would go downtown and all the store windows would be decorated with lights. And there would be carolers out on the street singing songs. And there was snow, and there was music, and there was an ice skating rink downtown, and you could go ice skating on in the ice skating rink. And in front of the base, the biggest department store they had, was a huge tree decorated with big old Christmas palms. He loved Christmas in the city. <laughs> but this year, Victor was going to go spend Christmas in the country with his cousin. And Victor didn't really care for his cousin, Hannah. She was one year younger than him. But he didn't like being in the country, because every time he went out, there was always the cows and the pigs and the chickens and the horses. And he thought being in the country was boring. He thought it was going to be especially boring at Christmas time, without all the lights and the singing going on. And, and so he wasn't really happy about that. But his mother and him got on the train and he went out to visit her sister. When he got to the little town, his aunt was there in a porch grown carriage. Sort of like what I came into today. And there was Hannah sitting there with her mother. They gathered everything up. The victim was a little bit happy because he saw that some of the stores had some garland and a few lights. Then he went on to her house. When he got to the house, the house wasn't decorated at all. They had a few candles in the window. It was going to be a long week for Victor. He just knew it was going to be miserable. Well, every day they would get up and they go out and take care of the cows and the chickens. And Every day. And every day he got to drink hot cider. But you know what his favorite drink was? In the wintertime, hot But out there in the country, they gave him hot cider. And then one day they made some hot food strings. And, and Hannah had taken some food coloring and, and put it in there. And the coloring was formed with now different colors. That made it sort of pretty. And they did pool taffy. Anybody ever heard of pool taffy? You can make your own candy and pull the pool turn like white my gloves, and then you cut it up to really sweet and you put colors in there like red and green and things like that, making Christmas. So they put some pool taffy. So it was so sort of nice. Well, on the 24th of December, the day before Christmas, Richard was asleep in bed when all of a sudden he heard Hannah come running in, shouting and screaming something. I don't get what I know! Oh! Richard hit his head up into the covers. He was trying to hide from Hannah. Oh, no way. Then he heard say something about snow. Snow? <laughs> and he jumped out of the covers and he went over and looked out the window. There was a foot of snow on the ground. He said, snow, let's go. And he ran downstairs. But before they could go out and eat for breakfast, they had their chores to do. So they went out there and they had chickens and a cow and things to take care of. But by lunchtime, they were done. Now it was a and they went out there, the first thing they did was make snow angels. You ever make snow angels in the snow? They went out and made snow angels. And then together they rolled a huge, big, old snowman. <laughs> and then they ate snowballs. And boy, they quickly find out Hannah was a really good shot. She could nail him really easy. Well, then they had supper. <coughs> and after supper, now it was starting to get a little bit dark. And and Hannah got her backpack out, loaded some things in there. She said, let's go for a walk, Victor. And so they went outside and walking. And the first thing they came to as they were walking outside was a frozen pond. And Hannah showed them how to test it, make sure that it was safe to go on. He never been on a frozen pond before. So they went out on that frozen pond and he slipped on the pond. And he thought that was pretty neat. So then he started sliding around. So when he get running, he'd go, and he'd slide down. So, well, you know, you did that nice ice skating people would laugh at you, but out here in the pond, he liked sliding on his butt. Yeah. And there he was flying around on the ice and having a grand time. And then she said, well, let's go snowboarding. And they started walking up the snow on a hill. And they walked up the top of that hill. They came to a, a log that was laying there. And they sat down on the log. And just as we were getting ready to turn up, he looked over and he saw this beautiful fir tree that had ice crystals hanging on it. And the moonlight was shining, you're making it sparkling. It was sparkling, just like that big tree in front of Macy. It looked so pretty up there on the hill, with the sun shining on the 
you wanted to point it at her, she goes, look. You look up in the sky. You know what he saw? Hundreds and hundreds of stars. He never seen so many stars in his life. You know, in the city, you can't see stars like that. He never seen so many. He looked up at those stars. They're like the lights. In the and then he's thinking to himself, really, sure is quiet out here. And then he heard. He listened and he heard. He heard a lot. Anybody ever hear it here? Are they snort? Right? And then he heard some night out. And then he heard them all together. There's some other animals making noises. And he said, that's just like, they're singing. They're singing here at night. Like downtown with the carolers. It's up here with the animals song. Then Hannah said, I've got a surprise for you, Victor. And he said, What is it? She takes her backpack off, she reaches in, she pulls out the thermos and screws the lid. And she pours huh? hot chocolate. Very good. She made hot chocolate. And they sat there and they drank that hot chocolate for a while. Then he went back down to the house and there was a fire going. His dad still had to show up in Chicago. He had to stay there and work. But they sat around and they sang some Christmas songs. And then Victor went upstairs and he got out some construction paper and some crowns. He decided to make a card right now. So he made up a card, a Christmas card for her. And then he drew pictures on it. He would took pictures of He drew pictures of their walk. He drew pictures of them. Now he's pond. He drew pictures of the sparkling tree, the stars in the sky, and the animals singing. Later on, when she went to bed, he went over there, and in her stocking, he reached in his pocket and pulled out a lucky marble shooter. You ever had a lucky marble shooter? He took out his favorite marble you ever had and put it in her stocking. Well, the early Christmas morning, and then Victor were up there and running. They come down the stairs, they were parked down the stairs right and early. And in the living room was a beautiful <coughs> tree, all decorated. And standing next to that laundry was Victor's dad. He did make it home for Christmas. Victor found <coughs> his stocking, <coughs> holy bag of marbles. And then Hannah gave him a card, a card that she made for him. And you know what she put in her card? She drew pictures too. She drew pictures of. No way. She was a picture of a no man. Picture of no one. And then she gave a big old hug. <laughs> and you know what Victor did? He hugged her back. And she realized she a Christian no matter where you're at. And that's the story of Victor. You like that story? Later on, we'll have some plates down here at Santa Castle.